coming in? No more. All right. I need to know which of your parents. I think I can tell, but you never know. Okay, so we got some, some parents in there as well. There's a there's a um, principle behind behind teaching that uh, I'm an old teacher from way back. I started out teaching teaching high school, so I, I do have a love for people your age. But um, my career, my first career was in the United States Navy. I was a naval officer for 21 years. And after serving my country, I thought it was a good transition to serve a community that I had learned to love. So I've been doing this 16 years now at Hands on Jacksonville. We used to be called Volunteer Jacksonville, so you may have heard that before. So, this principle behind teaching is, tell people what you're going to tell them, and then tell them what you're going to tell them, and then tell them what you told them. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to give you a little piece of paper if you want this information to take with you. Uh, just a little piece, not a, not a huge, long, onerous presentation. But I do want to make three points today. And the three points that I want to make with you is that, is that leadership, in my estimation, has four different dimensions. It's taking responsibility, it's doing the right thing, it's producing results, and it's constantly learning, constantly making yourself better. So, do the right thing. Take responsibility, produce results, and keep learning. Yeah. <laughs> but, but parents can have this too. Oh, this is a good thing for parents to know too. That's the first point. The second point is that, and this is really important, anyone can choose to be a leader. A couple of important words in there. Anyone can choose to be a leader. And then the third thing that I'm going to talk about is that serving others is really the key to leadership. So let's talk about it a little bit. And we don't have a whole heck of a lot of time. I jotted some questions down, and I think rather than me standing up here and lecturing you about this wonderful model of leadership that I've created as I worked on my doctoral degree. Doesn't that sound interesting? <laughs> <laughs> I think instead, I just want to ask some questions, and then I'll kind of bring out this little squirrely model that I've started up here on the, on the uh, whiteboard. What do you all think leadership is? Let's go around the table, because otherwise you are not going to volunteer to talk. What's leadership? Well, leadership is, to me, it's someone who leads others to a certain goal. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Taking and can't say the same thing. Taking charge. Taking charge. Mm -hmm. um, being able to take risks without fear of failing. Mm -hmm. Nice aspect. Yes, mom. Uh, <laughs> uh, leadership to me is being uh, unselfish, so just being a part of yourself and to influence to others. Um, so, in order to be a good leader, you have to learn how to also be a good follower. Uh, yes, mom. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Um, fellowship, uh, communication. In order to have. Oh, yeah. Hello, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. To put yourself in other people's shoes and know what they're thinking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> You're sitting here. You gotta participate. <laughs> the power smoker. Yeah, I know you sit Nice. Yeah. I think it's helping others much 
degrees don't necessarily have to go to college and then go get their master's degree and then go get their doctorate. The smarter you get, the more school you get, the more educated you get, the better we are. No. But you have to be open and constantly learning, constantly taking things in. Because then you modify your behavior accordingly. And the more you learn, the better, the better you will be at leading others. We come back to that, to the, to the principle that you talked about. Leaders, followers, what's the difference? Risk taking. Risk taking. You gotta know when to lead and when to follow. The best leaders in the world are also followers. Now it's not just a matter of stepping up and taking charge, taking charge is good. Somebody's got to take charge. But it's not just a matter of that. Sometimes you have to know when it's more appropriate for this other person to take charge. And I contribute in my way the best that I can for the greater good of the situation. So this constant learning, this constant learning, and then over here, there's this little matter of action. You know, we can all get inspired. <laughs> it's real easy to get inspired to do something, right? Oh, we see something wrong. Something's got to be done. Somebody's got to do something. Oh, my gosh. Let's hope that we've got those, that that governor of ours does something, or that mayor, or that president, or those city council members, somebody's got to do something. This is a problem. Somebody's got to do it. Well, who the heck is somebody, okay? <laughs> who the heck is somebody? And you can be, you can have all the high-minded principles in the world. You can believe in all the things that are good and right and decent and uplifting. It's good. And you can keep learning, constantly learning, bettering yourself. But if you don't do it, somebody who's got a good heart, somebody who is very learned, but nothing happens. Have we got a leader? Not really. That's all a matter of action. Producing results, taking responsibility, doing the right things, constantly learning, but producing results. A guy by the name of Peter Drucker, yeah, I've got this quote for you somewhere. Um, just make sure I get it right. It's not real hard, but I want to make sure I get it right. Well, first of all, let me go back. And where did this come from? This came from one of you um, also, but this also comes from Peter Drucker. The only definition of leader is someone who has followers. Okay. And then we go on. Popularity is not leadership. Why well, is the most popular? Results are producing results. A guy by the name of um, uh, Stoudmill said, leadership is always associated with the attainment of group objectives. Leadership implies activity, movement, getting work done. It's always, always about producing results. Okay? So, and I like this about the self-movement because they're very holistic and they're very, um, they combine the whole spiritual aspect of leadership, which I also believe in. I like to look at these four dimensions, if you will, as also, we can, we can incorporate this humanity metaphor. I think that I think that human beings, it's my opinion, that human beings are comprised of four dimensions. We have bodies. We have minds. We have hearts. And I mean that more metaphorically than, than physically. And what goes here? 